Hey, what's up? I got some more lore content for you guys. So, Bandle City has been officially announced. We got some cards to go over. I saw the uh, expansion video, I think, yesterday. So, I'm going to rewatch it or whatever, give some impressions of it. I really, really like it. I think it's super cute, but the cards I have not seen yet. So, I'll be giving my first impression, initial reaction of how the cards are, their stats, what they're going to do, and maybe we can theorycraft a little bit. So, with that, let's just get right into it. Starting with Beyond the Bandlewood cinematic trailer. Let's get that in full screen. Alright, let's see. Yordles say that all roads lead to Bandal City. Yep. It's not just our home. It's who we are. Days until Bandlewood Festival 2. Especially us Bandle Scouts. I we pledge to faithfully uphold the Scout Code and serve Yordle kind. No matter how impossible the mission. <laughs> This Aaron Yordle is so cute. Oh, what's up, Vagar? New champion. Ziggs as well. <laughs> We're all taught to tie knots and build traps. No. I think the most important thing. The Bandal portals are so cool. You can just teleport everywhere. Let's go, Caitlyn. Caitlyn looking like a JoJo's character, man. The outside world is dangerous. Strange, even. Senna's but Zareth Sion? Can surprise you. a chance and they might even lead you somewhere incredible to be continued okay so the to be continued means maybe we're gonna get more mini cinematics like this is gonna be an overarching story with this uh, supply gathering yordle if so that is like really cool I like this a lot um, other than that, of course, if all the champions that were shown or teased within this video become champions in Legends or in Terra, I think that's super cool. Like, I like Vagar, I like, um, Ziggs, and then Caitlyn, of course, and we saw it in the book, right? We saw... Let me see here. The outside world is dangerous. Boom, Senna. Strength Boom, Scion. Boom, Zareth. Okay. So if all those come in as well, and this is just like basically a tease of what we're going to have, I think that's super sick. And I'm just like excited to see what they all do. Like there's so much diversity with those champions that were revealed. Scion being like a big beefy tank, sort of like a Malphite type stat line. And then Zareth somehow having a super long range ability. Maybe he can do stuff from hand. That would be cool. So yeah, I guess we'll see. Um... Other than that, let's go into the cards. We have Yordles. So Beyond the Bandlewood is introducing the Yordle tag. I believe the uh, champions that are currently Yordles in the game will now also have this tag, which opens up synergy cards. So that's kind of cool. Uh, four mana, three, four. Fair stat line. Oh, another thing it does. Wow, look at that. Dual region cards. So this is both Bandlewood and PNZ. If you run one of those, then you can put this in your deck. So that's kind of cool. Um... Opens a lot of flexibility in terms of deck building, of course. Uh, this can get a little bit insane the more that this mechanic is power crept, so we'll have to see where that goes in the future as well. 4 man 3 4, aloof travelers. When I'm summoned, both players draw one, then your opponent discards their highest cost card. Okay, so it's a hand troll. So this kind of reminds me of, I think his name was Dirty Rat in Hearthstone where people played him in order to take out your opponent's combo pieces uh, and, and like force kill them. So this is giving me the same kind of vibe where we're just messing with the opponent's hand. Both players draw one, then your opponent discards their highest cost card. So ideally you're hitting like a high value champion and late game stuff. Uh, if you're fighting Viego, you want to hit Hydrovine, you know, stuff like that. So highest cost card that could also mean spells. Um, hmm. Wait, this can be used against Watcher. This can be used against... 
uh, feel the rush. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's like um anti-control combo. Yeah, it's just like anti-combo, essentially, just like Dirty Rat was. Next, we have six mana, four, four. <laughs> Ava Achiever. Nice. That's a good play on words. Overachiever. When I'm summoned and round end, plant three poison puff caps on random cards in the enemy deck. Traps on enemy cards are doubled when activated. Oh, wow. What happens if you have multiple of these? Can it actually like quadruple? I don't think so, right? It's probably going to be a hard double effect. So as long as this is on the board, opponents are taking double damage from shrooms. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's a six mana, four, four. By the time you can play this on 6, it's actually kind of easy to remove. 4 HP is nothing. Um, but if it gets off like 2, 4, 6 damage, then it's kind of worth the play. I don't know if Teemo really needs like a top-end damage enhancer, but hey, more support is more support, right? Um, what's cool is that he functions by himself with the round-end effect, just planting the 3 poison puff caps for free. That's kind of cool. So It's also on summon, wow. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, the more it's just like a nice well-rounded card. Six is not too late into the game, so it's it's okay. Yeah, it's a good mid-range area. Lecturing Yordle, four mana, three, five. When I'm summoned or attack, create a fleeting poison dart in hand. Okay, summon or attack. So, of course, this gets double poison darts on uh, an attack turn if you're playing on attack four, attacking on evens. So, four mana, three, five. Three, five is pretty good. Um, yeah, that's like really good stats. So we're going to see what Poison Dart does. I'm sure it's on the next page, maybe. Uh, nope, maybe it's on the next page. There's Poison Dart. Uh, and then I'll go back. One mana slow spell. Deal one to anything and plant three Poison Puff Caps on random cards in the enemy deck. Wow, that's really strong. It's parley, but instead of dealing direct damage immediately, it's doing Puff Cap synergy. So it's just good. Uh, it's Bandle City general removal as well. If you can hard run this card, I could see this being run. If it's only generated, then... Um, Maybe this card is actually just viable in most Bandlewood decks, even without Puffcap Synergy, because deal one for one is just good. I mean, that's that's plenty, especially if you're fighting aggro decks, right? If it's an aggro meta. And he generates two of them, so cool. Uh, next, Puffcap Pup. More Puffcap Synergy. Wow, I think Teemo decks are actually going to be decent. Like, <laughs> insanely decent. Um, two mana, two, two, quick attack. Strike, plant three Poison Puff Caps on random cards in the enemy deck. That's very good, especially on attack two. That's going to beat over most things. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just... No matter what, it's going to get the three off if it attacks, so... That's cool. I like it. It's Bandlewood specifically, so this is going to force Teemo Bandlewood, essentially. Uh, P and Z Bandlewood. So no more P and Z Freljord, essentially, which is the identity of Teemo recently, with Hexcore Foundry and Troll Chant saving him and stuff like that. It's been um, been Freljord for quite a minute, but there's a lot of nice support coming out here, so I can definitely see Bandle City P and Z being a good combo. So we got Swole Scout, we got the Squirrel, now we got the Scout. Um, he's not that swole, he's only got 2 HP, he's, he's a little front loaded. 4-man uh, 3-2, when I'm summoned, if you've added 2 plus cards to your hand this round, grant me 1-0 and Elusive, so it can be a 4-2 with Elusive. If you've added 2 cards to your hand this round, I guess that also means Puff Cap Generation. Um, I don't know how you're going to do that before playing him. Mm, so, unless a spell can generate him, then you can do this like on 4 with spell mana. Other than that, it seems a little hard, so, alright, he's just kind of beefy. Yordle Newbie. Wow, actually using the word newbie. I like that. 3 mana, 3, 2. When I'm summoned, if you've added 2 cards to your hand this round, grant me plus 1, plus 2, so more synergy with that. Okay. Uh, this will be a 3 mana, 4, 4. That's good. That's that's really good. Um, cool. It's just like a vanilla card, though. It doesn't really do much else besides just be a 3 mana, 4, 4. And we've seen Kahiri... The, I don't know which one, the middle here. you know, it's a 3-3 three, three and he becomes a 4-4 four, four when you predict. He doesn't really see play. I don't know if that's predict deck's fault or if that is just the fact that he's a vanilla 4-4. Four, four. So if if it's because he's a 4-4, four, four, then newbie won't be that amazing either. Uh, Entrapment, 2 mana burst. Pick 1 of 3 units or spells from the enemy deck. Plant 3 poison puff caps on all copies of it. Wow, that's really interesting. 2 mana burst. Pick 1 of 3 units or spells. Okay, so... <laughs> three options will pop up you'll pick one all copies of it that's really cool so this can get out of control if your opponent is doing a lot of 
um, predict stuff and creating copies like counterfeit copies and stuff like that and you can literally just auto kill them that kind of combo hasn't really been in the game but if it is then they're going they're getting shroomed out the wazoo that's for sure so there's the poison dart we talked about sump fumes three mana fast deal two to a unit if you've added two plus cards to your hand this round deal three to it instead uh, P and Z removal. Wow, we don't have enough of that. Deal two to a unit. If you've added two plus cards this round, deal three. Okay, so it's three mana, Mystic Shot. Sometimes it's three mana, get excited without the discard because you've added two plus cards to your hand this round. Cool. Stinky Wump. Last breath. Create a copy of me in the enemy deck with two poison puff caps attached. Oh, so it's like um, the, the zero mana one one ephemeral that gets put in your opponent's deck after it dies. You just like troll your opponent's deck and they have a stinky wump that's really funny and he's also putting poison puff caps like into the deck that's really good for teamo synergy it's a one mana two one it's aggressively statted it can get out some cheap damage i think that's awesome i think this card's actually really really good for the archetype um yeah it looks like that's it for that particular page so we can go on here and take a look at the the bandal tree and the champion so this is the new art that um oh no not the charger that the there we go the yordles are gonna get teemo looking kind of nice he's looking super smug as always poison puff cap looks good uh level teemo yeah that looks cool he's jumping away from explosions cool guys don't look at explosions yeah i like that a lot <laughs> it's pretty cute uh let's see got fizz here oh fizz looking kind of thick though what in the world when you cast spell stop oh you cast six okay no, son of a gun. I'm not trying to do that. Try and do this. It's not very intuitive. Fizz. Oh, riding the shark. That's cool. Long tooth. When you cast a spell, stop. Yep, yep, yep. Creature in the waters. I mean, I like that. That's nice art, too. Uh, Lulu. Looks like she's primarily the same. Yeah, she, she's the same. Okay. Yep. But we got the tags and the yodel tag. Um, Heimer looks the same. So, Bandle Tree. I actually did not talk about this yet, either. Alternate Wind Condition. 5 mana. Landmark. Round start. Create a follower from a new region in hand. Win the game if you've summoned 10 units from different regions, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you've played at least one unit from each of the regions in the game. Hmm. Win the game if you've summoned... Does It, it doesn't have to see you summon it. So, the thing is, right, if... Based on the wording, I, I haven't checked on this, but you can just play units from the 10 regions and then just whip out Bandle Tree and it will automatically win you the game, right? Because it doesn't say it has to see you play units from 10 regions. It just says win the game if you've summoned units from 10 regions this game, probably is what that means. So that's pretty strong. Uh, how easy is it going to be to generate all those? We don't know yet. So there's going to have to be a lot of cards added that supports this. Looks pretty cool though, and yeah, that looks like everything. And that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe if you thought this video was informative or entertaining. It really helps me out since I'm still trying to grow. I'll be releasing more deck profiles, guides, and gameplay highlights in the near future. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Laters!